Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest on the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so today I'm in Washington, D.C. for the Power Up Conference to celebrate Women's Equality Day. We have a Mission Matters book launch, a whole lot of things going on. And my next guest is Tammy. Tammy, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. All right. So this is my first time actually attending the full conference. Last year, I went and met with Dr. Nancy at the end of the conference over in UCLA. And um, and we were hanging out. She's like, you got to come next year. So she got me <laughs> Yay, here. Nancy. I love it. Yes, Dr. Nancy's amazing. So she is. you, how did you get introduced to the conference, to the whole ecosystem? Tell me. Well, let's see. I was leading a program for Valley Leadership in the Phoenix area in Arizona. And we were doing a, a conference focused for women's leadership. Mm-hmm. And Gloria Feld, who's my mom, had just written No Excuses. And I asked her, would she work with us on doing a workshop for women in Phoenix, Arizona? And that, and as she says, that often is sort of kind of what part of the basis for when she started growing this whole concept of the conferences and the classes. And it was at the early stages of Take the Lead in mm-hmm. general. Mm-hmm. And... I have been involved from early on. (laughs) Yes, yes. This concept of collaboration, like, like, how did, like, what do you think the magic is that keeps people coming back? That keeps this, like, I'm ten years celebrating ten years this year. That's remarkable. What do you think that magic is? It's so remarkable. So I was at the when the uh, launch, we filled Gaming Stadium in Tempe, Arizona, to the launch, and some very powerful speakers there that got people excited. And I think it's uh, the timing is so perfect is this is an ongoing process to help mm-hmm. women see the opportunities and help to address their power mm-hmm. tools and their ability to take what they can what their actual abilities are and do greater things with their lives mm-hmm. and the thoughtfulness of the power tools and of the processes in order to help women achieve whatever it is that they've decided they'd like to do in that phase of their life are just very, very well thought out. And so the conferences are just a way to just spend that time on yourself, yeah. coalesce everything that you've learned to date, and then take it to the next level. So I've been doing these interviews, so I've gotten to know many people that have come, like the one conference, the two conferences. You were, you were born into the conferences, so I'll, I'll just say that. <laughs> I have launched it, I will say, given that I was leading an actual an event for Valley Leadership. My but was started, yeah. saw this at all, I would you there, but you stayed. It's okay. <laughs> no, I mean, I brought her into our ecosystem. Yeah. Because, you know, when you are in the, you know, when you're having a powerful yeah. parent, you find your own ways of your own power to, mm-hmm. to shine, right? Done. You're that mom. I'm signing you up for something. You're gonna have, have my. I just visited my mom actually in Florida, and uh, I showed up with all the podcast equipment. And all that. she's like, "What are you doing, Adam?" I said, "We're doing an interview, mom." She says, "About what?" Oh, has she and been I on? Like, this um, I'm not joking. That's the true story. That's no, I did. She's retired. And oh, all that. I love that. I took it. And what was funny is some of my friends that were out in Miami, they actually road trip to see my mom. And I'm like, Aww. "These are grown ups with businesses, Aww. and like we're not high schoolers or college kids." <laughs> and I'm like. You want to go see my mom? Yes, Let's go. yes. She's cooler than me, though. That's why. Okay, so <laughs> it's fine. So I had a cool mom. Oh, She's that's like, great. So I'd love fine. to meet her. <laughs> so community, what does that mean to you? Because I like interviewing individuals and they come back time and time again. And I see like in the app, we have that amazing app that that's organizing the conference and all the things. It's just a top notch conference. Community. What does that mean to you? Uh, community is lifting each other up. It's um, listening it's sharing what our strengths and being able to share and be real clear about where we may have this strength, but we need help here. And so if we're very clear about that, you can always find someone to partner with here in this community yeah. because there, this, the level of women that are involved with this program is just off the charts, mm. off the charts. And there's nothing like being in the room together mm. to feel that excitement and to just to sort of lift your own soul yeah. up. You know, that's that's so important. Mm. So I think actually even online, they do an amazing job on the on the virtual aspect of the conferences. Yeah. And I think that more people would see you can actually do a virtual conference. I know after after the last few years, we're like, yeah. ah, virtual. But those are also a great way across the world to be able to benefit from this community 
Yeah. And I hope to see more people do that. Our managing editor, so the one that edited that book as well, the book we're coming out with, with Women Connect. Congratulations. Uh, yes. She's watching virtually. That's why I bring it up. Her oh. name's Hillary, so she'll be watching virtually. She's in the app doing all kinds of stuff. Oh, Hillary. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> and that's what it takes, right? Yeah, it takes that, a team, but do all these things. People even virtually plugging in. So for people that are watching, I don't want them to think that they're missing all the fun. You can still <laughs> plug in. It's fine. And next year, I'm sure there's going to be the 11th year and 12th year and so on. So people that can participate. You mentioned entrepreneurship earlier. You're an entrepreneur as well. Is that right? I am. I've got that blood. <laughs> our family, it's, we had a lot of entrepreneurs in our family. Yeah. What, what are you working on right now? Well, I've been, uh, have owned real estate brokerage for 23 years in the Scottsdale, Arizona area. And then I also have a solar business that I work in across the country. We're currently in 24 states mm. with a national company, Public Benefit Corporation, which is some, important to me. So decades in real estate and in entrepreneurship, one of the things that I like to do is I like to always squeeze in like a pay it forward question to the next generation that may be watching on YouTube or otherwise. So entrepreneurship, like, you know, if you go back and think about that, that Tammy that was just getting started, like way back when, what would you tell her? Get real clear about your why. And some of that I'm doing now through this take the lead and it's that's one of the one of a very good part of the whole process but take the lead mm -hmm. get super clear on your why i can't say i did that so much even though it was there it's that clarity of why it drives your business and to me integrating your personal passion for doing good in the world but also not feeling bad about monetizing it yeah because and i think that embrace your power one of the power tools the power to get things done but I do think a lot of times with the, if we're kind of do-gooders, I'll yeah. say, we're almost guilty about making money. It's weird. And so just that, that evolution of that process, it's okay to monetize your passion and then turn around and put that to more good, to do more good, because everything takes money. Yeah. And I ran a nonprofit, and then I thought, oh, I'll go into business, and, and then I'll have, I can be an armchair advocate. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you have to be clear on very solid business principles yeah. in order to make it financially productive so you can do more good in the world. Mm. Love it. Well, Tammy, I know we have a lot to go. We got the conference coming up. We got a lot in, in the, on the schedule. That being said, last thing I want you to do, look in the camera. How do people follow you? How do they continue to follow your journey, businesses or otherwise? Can I just be? Oh, you just yeah. indulge me for a moment. Yeah. One of my passions is integrating sustainability in our business because we are at a stage in the world mm. and I'm on up there. I've got to go on up there, but yeah. and I've been fortunate to benefit that I didn't have to worry about the basic ability of this ecosystem to sustain us and in, in our businesses. At this point, the more that we can integrate practices in our businesses that are in line with the ecosystem, the better off we're going to be for the rest of our existence and for our future generations. And there is a way to monetize. It is not an either or proposition, mm -hmm. environment or, or business. And people often think that, oh, if I deal with it. The early stuff, days at ESG, we're past so, that. We're yes, past that. So do that. It's going to cost me more money. It's going to be more work. Blah, blah, blah. No. If we just simply get into that baseline principle, I'm Best Green Realtor Award two years in a row, wow. and I've got nominated again this year, and the voting has yeah. just ended, so we'll see what happened. And what was it called? Say that one more time. It, like Fair Green Living Magazine. Yeah. I like to give them a shout out. That's why I asked. There, it's that's, it's that's an amazing. amazing magazine with its own with its own um, accomplishments. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, it's, and it's so high quality about how to live sustainably mm -hmm. and you know enjoy it. It's not a burden. We can embrace it mm -hmm. and, you know, think about those things every day, our purchases, vote with our dollars, you know, what we buy. Take an extra five minutes and see, is this company green? You know, before you buy a product, does it pollute the earth or is it in sync with the earth? Do they recycle? What is the rate, you know, are the, is the company to have a sustainability plan? All of those kinds of things make a difference every day. I'm on this thing right now where I'm doing plastic-free shampoo oh. for my hair. It's like a soap. It's a bar of soap. It's yeah. like we don't need plastic. You just lather it up like you do to, yeah. to take a shower and put it on your hair. Mm. Simple things. Does that does that hurt me to buy that? Not at all, mm. you know, but there's one less plastic bottle in the end. Yeah. You know, just simple things. And then also, so anyway, I thank you for indulging me. No, it's just, thank I you. just, that's something I spent a lot of time on at a volunteer level and in my business trying to help people 
see how to integrate green, green building, green practices with life to make life better, healthier, and also, you know, make a little next step to helping a planet for future generations. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. I love it. I love it. And and so how do people follow you? How do they follow you, your business, your green uh, initiatives? How do they do it? Well, my name is Tammy Bossy, B-O-S-S-E. And I would say self-promotion is it's not something I've spent a lot of time on. So my website uh, is bossproperties.com, and that's B-O-S-S. There's no E on that company name, P-R-O-P-E-R-T-I-E-S.com. Also on LinkedIn and Facebook under Tammy Bossy or under Boss Properties. Amazing. Thank you, Tammy. And for everybody watching, I spend a lot of time on promoting. So uh, we're going to put all those links in the show notes so that you could just click on the links and head right on over. And speaking to the audience, if this is your first time with Mission Matters and speaking of promotion, you haven't hit that subscribe or that follow button yet, we welcome you to do that. This is a daily show. Each and every day we're bringing you new content new ideas, new thought leaders, and hopefully new inspiration that can help you along the way in your journey as well. So again, hit that subscribe or follow. And Tammy, really appreciate you. Thank thank you. you so much. It's been fun. Thank you. 